Hello and welcome to Kick It 55 Fitness. My name is Kristen. You are joining for 30 minutes of cardio sculpt and yoga flow. You will need a mat and preferably two sets of weights. I've got eight pound and five pound, a little bit heavier for some of those strength sequences and my lighter weights for that beautiful yoga flow. Don't forget to subscribe to us and push on notifications so you can see all of our upcoming workouts. And now let's get started flowing. Okay, yogis, let's get started. Meet me on your mat today on your backs. And let's start by just tapping into that breath, a little stretch. So roll all the way down, really point your toes, bring your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Take a deep breath in here and exhale. Just let it all go. Two more breaths just like that. And as you breathe in, let everything else blur away except for you and your mat, that mind-body connection, breath to movement. Breathe in here. Exhale it out. One final breath. Coming fully to your mat, fully to the intention you've set forth today. And exhale. Beautiful. Now draw your fingers right behind your ears. Your elbows are out toward the opposite wall. So you're not holding on. It's just a guide, okay? Lift your feet up and let's push that right thigh, cross it over, right thigh on top of the left, and then bend. So you're in eagle legs here. Now we'll start with some eagle crunches. So I want you to lift your shoulders, lift your chest off the mat, and start to crunch it in tap it down and crunch and tap. It's lift and lower, lift and lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You keep going. And I want you to think about that mind to muscle connection. It's the abs that are helping you lift and lower. It is not the momentum of your movement. So really focus on using your core right here. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Now uncurl those legs. Just have them stagger a little bit here and then bring that left elbow to the right knee. Tap it and down. Continue just that left elbow to the right knee. So it's lift and low, lift and low. It's here. The legs are like a scissor kick right here and we lift and low. Again, it's exhale and exhale. Really getting into that right oblique. Exhale, exhale. Let's count it together. Eight, seven. In six, we go to the other side. Five, last four, three, two, and one. Beautiful yogis. Bring your head down to give it a little break. Let's reach that left leg, cross it over the right, coming into eagle legs on that opposite side. Again, fingers are just a guide behind our ears. Our elbows are out so that our chest stays proud. Lifting up shoulders and chest, and we start here again. So it's crunch, tap down, crunch, tap down, crunch, tap down, right? And we're really focused on our form Again, mind to muscle connection. Those abs are helping us lift and lower those hips. And let's go eight, seven, six, five. All right, yogis, four, three, two, and one. Legs come up high, unravel them. It's like a scissor kick. That right elbow comes to the left knee and down. It's lift and lower. Just this one side. Low. Lift and low. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's go eight, seven, six. Waking up those abs this morning. Five. Last four. Three. In two. In one, beautiful, draw those knees in, relax your head down, wrap your arms around your shins and rock side to side, just massaging your low back here. And then draw your hands under your knee creases and roll the length of your mat. 
and then roll it on up and let's meet in our tabletop so bringing those shoulders right over the wrists and our hips right over our knees we'll move into some cat cows so make sure that your belly is drawn in to protect your low back your neck is in line with your spine right so that you don't strain through the neck inhale for cow drop the belly lift through your tail lift through the crown of the head slide the shoulder blades back Exhale for cat, round the back, drop your hips and your head. And let's just move through these two postures, inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat. You move at a pace that works for you. That mind-body connection, moving meditation, inhaling as you sink the belly, exhaling as you round the back. Let's take two more, inhaling here for cow, exhaling for cat one more time inhale for cow opening through the shoulder blades or through the collarbones exhale for cat beautiful come back to that solid tabletop make sure that belly's drawn in now curl those toes under lift those knees up just a half inch coming into this hovering table okay we're right here just hold here keeping those abs in slight little dome through the upper back, so much strength through those shoulder blades, pressing right down through the palms, radiating strength right here. Neck is nice and in line with the spine. Looking out maybe a few inches, can you hold? Let's just hold for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one downward facing dog send those hips up high and toward the back of the room push into your fingertips into your palms arms are long soften your chest toward your thighs and start to lift and lower through your heels warming up the back side of the body give me a little head shake a little yes a little no lengthen your neck make sure that you're relaxed through your face beautiful and now inhale here lift the right leg high and on the exhale sweep it through low lunge press down through that left hand inhale right arm goes high for a twist breathe in here really focus on keeping the weight in that front right foot don't spill all your weight into your left hand that'll help keep your hips squared exhale bring that hand down inhale left leg comes to meet the right at the top of the mat forward fold inhale halfway lift ardha uttanasana hands to the shins draw the belly in top of the head is shining forward exhale forward fold on your next breath let's roll up one vertebrae at a time and meet in that mountain pose bring your arms up high that belly is tucked in, that tail is in neutral, and those biceps are right by your ears. Inhale here, exhale, baby back bend, cactus the arms. Use your glute to support your low back as you open up through your chest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold down. Breathe in, plant the palms, step back. It's our first high plank. So let's roll into position. Make sure that those heels are stacked over the toes. Your hips are right in line with your shoulders. And of course, those abs are really fired up, right? Now we're gonna add a little movement. So bring the left hand and touch the right toe and then take it back to plank, go opposite and touch. And then we alternate, so it's here. Opposite hand to toe touches. Really work to keep the shoulders directly over the wrist. If you start to fall back, you lose the emphasis in the abs. So really keep yourself rolled forward. Let's go eight, seven, nice and controlled. Six, five, last four, three, two, and one come back to that high plank inhale here exhale lower down elbows skim along the ribs to low plank hold in your chaturanga inhale through upward facing dog burst open through your heart exhale down dog now anytime you want to come down to your belly and move through cobra that's perfect too beautiful let's inhale here lift that left leg high exhale sweep it through press down through the right hand inhale left arm comes high 
keep those hips squared and really think about pressing into that left foot exhale plant both hands breathe in bring the right foot to meet the left top of the mat forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale mountain pose let's root and rise all the way arms up overhead beautiful exhale baby back bend burst open through your heart use those glutes to support your low back inhale rise exhale forward fold hinge at the hips inhale step back into that high plank now this time focus on your core focus on your on your uh set up here in your high plank and we're going to move into a spider crunch so that right knee comes to touch the right elbow and back and then it's left and back right back let's go for eight seven six keep the integrity of the pose last four three so strong yogis two and one come back to that high plank right here breathe in exhale to low plank inhale upward facing dog exhale down dog take a breath in here yogis breathe in nice exhale let it go on the next breath in bend your knees look forward travel to the top of your mat forward fold halfway lift exhale fold rise all the way for mountain pose now let's bring a little cardio into the practice so starting here with high wide knees so getting them up right here i will time you we've got 30 seconds three exercises 30 seconds each you're thinking about those high knees wide high knees right here in five we go to star jump in four three two and one 30 seconds here star jump it out Woo! nice if you want to go low impact you come down or keep it here nice keep it going in 10 seconds we come down from mountain climbers in five four three two and one bring it down drive those knees in 30 seconds here keep those shoulders right over the wrist really dig go for cardio pick up that pace you've got it in 10 seconds we go back up to the top for round two in five four three two and one rise back up high knees wide high knees tapping alternating taps Woo. nice get those knees up working those abs use that power we go to that star jump in 10 seconds knees up 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 let's go five four three two and one right here start jumps nice jump it up or stay low to the ground your choice but lots of power getting that heart beating in 10 seconds we go down for mountain climbers in five four three two and one right here mountain climbing out dig 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 keep those shoulders right over your wrist digging those knees in toward the chin you've got 10 more seconds and then we move into squats in five four three two and one Woo. come into a forward fold halfway lift reset the spine exhale fold inhale root and rise mountain pose arms come overhead take a big beautiful breath in Woo. exhale 
lower those hands down. Beautiful. Now, grab one weight. I'm going to grab my heavier eight pound weight. We're doing squats with an emphasis on core as well. So that weight will go up over your head, but just one. Your feet are right under your hips, a little bit wider. Knees are pointing forward. Start with that weight at your chest. We squat it down and send it up over our heads. So we're here, squat and lift. Right here, exhale as you squat, inhale as you lengthen. Sending those hips right back over the heels. So much so you can lift your toes up. Your chest stays proud and really use those arms. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five. Can you get lower? Four, use those glutes. Three, really press at the top. Two, and one. Now bring that weight to center. Separate the feet just a little bit more. Right here, we squat and then twist. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. So squat, right elbow, right knee. Squat, twist, squat, twist. As you stand, you twist, bring that right knee outside, or right elbow outside of the right of the left knee. Right here, tap, lower, tap, lower. Now, I really want you to focus on your ab lifting that knee high. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, and four. We switch it out. Three, two, and one. Switch it out. So squat, left elbow, right knee. Squat here. Squat, twist and tap. Knee comes even outside of that elbow. Right here, eight, seven, glutes and abs, six, five, last four, three, woo, two, and one, nice. One more exercise here in our squat sequence. We are going to take that one weight, squat it down, actually, arms overhead, squat it, and then rainbow it toward the same knee. So it's squat, rainbow, squat, rainbow, squat, rainbow, rainbow. I am going left elbow, left knee. Let's go lower, lift. Really getting into that side of that oblique. Let's go eight, seven, Six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. Squat to the right, to the right, to the right. Exhale, exhale. Let's go eight, woo, seven, six, five, and four. We go to squat checks, three, last two, and one. Come to center, squat jack with a press up. Little cardio. And then we go back to the top for our second set. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Make sure feet are right underneath your hips. Weight is at your heart. Sink those hips and squat, and then lift. Weights overhead. So it's squat, lift, squat, lift. Tuck that belly. Send those hips back. Keep the chest proud. Eight, seven, six. In five, we have that twist. Last four, three, two, and one, widen the legs, weight at heart center again, squat, right elbow, left knee, squat, twist, squat, twist, eight, 
seven, six, five, last four, three, other side in two, and one. Switch it out. Squat, left elbow, right knee. Let's go eight, seven. Remember, really get that knee up. Use those abs. Five, last four, three, two, and one. This time something a little different. Bring those weights, 90, one weight. Arms are at 90 degrees and alternate your legs coming in, okay? Keeping the integrity of the arms, they stay in 90 degrees. And just like in those eagle crunches, you use your abs, alternate the legs to crunch and crunch, crunch, crunch. Using those abs, also getting into those arms. Let's go right here, eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze those elbows, three, two, and one, beautiful. Back to that squat jack with a press up right here. Eight, last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful yogis, drop your weight, find your lighter weight, bring them to the top of your mat, take a sip, and we'll get flowing now. So, meet me at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift your arms, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, reset the spine, grow long. Exhale, fold, find your weight. On the next inhale, rise through chair pose. Weights come up overhead. Send the hips back over the heels. Maybe separate your heels a little. Draw the belly in. Holding here. Proud through your chest. Exhale, airplane those arms. Right? Beautiful. Let's do that three more times. Inhale in your chair. Arms high. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, airplane. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, airplane. This time, inhale and take off with that right knee. Come up for one-legged mountain. And on the exhale, step it back. Crescent lunge, airplane arms. Beautiful. Right here. Now rise through your torso. Scooch that back leg in a little. Palms facing you. Okay? That left leg is forward. And right here, we go into a bicep with a dip, a bicep curl. So we dip and curl and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, low, lift. Really fire up those glutes to support you. Let's go eight, seven, six, five. In four, we hold it and pulse it. Three, two, you got this. One, hold it low. Bring those weights right out in front of you in little pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five. That front left leg is 90 degrees, 90 degree bend, right? Pulsing. Three, two, one. Again, so bring it low, curl, low, curl. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, and four. In three, we rise in our crescent. In two, in one, keep the legs. Rise through the arms. Crescent lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Spin that back foot. Come down into that warrior two. Nice bend in those arms, right? Getting low. Front leg is at 90 degrees. Right here. Inhale, bring that left arm down. Send that right arm high, okay? Stay low in your warrior legs. Now inhale and reverse it. Right arm down, left arm high. Now we'll flow that with the use of our abs. So make sure your integrity is there through the legs. Let's go. So inhale here, left arm is high. Exhale, reverse, bring the right arm high. Breathe in, reverse, send the left arm. It's right. 
and left, and right, and left. Those abs are on fire to lift and lower your body. Also getting into those shoulders. Woo! Let's go eight, seven, six. You can bring those weights back to heart center. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to that warrior two. Burst open into star, beautiful. Exhale, come on down, get into your horse and pulse it. Pulse it down, right here, pulse, pulse, get low. Hips are down, right, booty's down, chest is proud. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, in three we hold it, two, one, hold it here. Bring those weights out in front of you and a little serving tray. Palms are up, elbows come straight back and forward and back, forward, back. Keep the horse legs, stay low. Let's go eight, seven, driving those elbows back, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Rise through your star, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, that left leg is still forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pull, pivot, fold. Come into a high plank. And right here, give me eight wide arm push-ups. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Let's go eight, seven, six, five. If it helps, you can come to knees. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful yogis, meet me in a down dog. Take a breath here. Awesome job. Breathe in, exhale it out. Let's flow the other side. Inhale, lift that right leg high. Woo! And stretch it out. Exhale, lift that left leg high and stretch it out, beautiful. Now, bend the knees, look forward, travel. Grab those weights, meet me in chair pose. Arms come up overhead. Sit those hips down. Draw the belly in. We've got those triceps. Inhale here for length. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sweep the arms. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sweep. One more time. Inhale, rise through the arms. Exhale, sweep. Beautiful. This time, rise with that left leg. Lifting up, one-legged mountain. Exhale, crescent lunge. Left leg is back, right leg is forward. Arms are high. Beautiful, rising up. Find that lunge. Right leg is forward now. This time, we come with our palms in front of us and we do a reverse fly, right? We can add a dip too. So we dip as we fly. It's exhale, 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 exhale. Let's go. Eight, seven, that right leg is forward, six, so shoulder blades are sliding back, five. In four, we pulse, three, two, and one. Hold it here, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful yogis, bring those weights back to center. Rise in your crescent, stay strong in those legs. Inhale here, exhale. Warrior two. Now we're gonna move again through those alternating arms and that flow. So bring the weights to heart center first. Get strong in your warrior legs. Inhale, right leg arm comes high. Follow it with your gaze. Exhale, right arm comes in. Lean it forward, left arm comes high. Right, so that's our flow. So it's inhale, exhale through center. Inhale as you reach left. Inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right. Stay low in the legs. Make sure it's your core that's helping you with this movement. And then you focus on those shoulders too. So it's lift, center, lift, center. Let's go eight, seven, woo, lost my balance. Six, five, four, in three, we come back to that warrior two, two, and one, back to warrior two. Inhale through star, breathe in. Exhale through horse, pulse it. Eight, 
seven, six, five, get low, four, three, two, one, stay low, weights come out in front of you, 90 degrees, palms in, little lift, and lift, and lift, stay low in the legs, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one, weights through heart center, burst up into that star, let's flow, right leg forward, reverse, or warrior two here, inhale, reverse your warrior, pull, pivot, fold, meet me in that high plank, and let's go eight wide push-ups again, so it's eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one, beautiful, we have time for one more little tricep exercise, and then we'll stretch it out. Come all the way down. Bring your weights center of the mat. Come down on your belly. Really light weights or no weights. Come on your belly. Press your forehead down. Tops of your feet down. Arms are long behind you. Weights are in your palms. Palms are up. Pressing the body down. Lift the long arms and simply lift. Little tricep lifts right here. Palms facing up and pulsing toward the ceiling. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, eight, seven, six, five, Use those glutes to keep your body supported. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Drop those weights. Nice. Send your hands alongside your shoulder blades. Bring your hips back. Meet me in a child's pose. That is it, yogis. Let's take a moment here to stretch. Wonderful work today. Send your arms long. Bring those sit bones back over your heels. Bring your forehead to the ground. Soften your torso between your knees. Inhale here with long arms. Exhale out. Now bring your hands to prayer. Push into your elbows and send those prayer hands behind the nape of your neck. Woo, feel that beautiful tricep stretch getting into what we just worked. Breathe in, sending all that energy to the back body. Travel with it, imagine each muscle opening up between the ribs in your backside. Breathe in. Exhale out. Beautiful. And then come up and spin around. We'll come on down to the ground, lower onto your back, and take that right outer edge of your foot, place it on your left thigh, and then fish your hands between coming to clasp your left hamstring and get a nice figure four stretch right here. Maybe you send that left leg high, roll the ankle. And then set it down. Let's go to the other side. So outer edge of the left foot onto the right thigh. Snake those hands to your hamstring, grab a hold. Get a nice little figure four stretch. Send that right arm, that right leg high. Circle out your ankle one way and the other. Exhale it out. Roll your chest, your knees to your chest. Bring your chin in for a big hug. And then roll it up. And that's all we have time for today, yogis. I hope you take a little more time and stretch it out. And that is our yoga sculpt. Woo! Well, that's it for today, yogis. I hope you had a good time with this 30-minute session of cardio sculpt and yoga flow. Again, my name is Kristen. We are Kick at 55 Fitness. Don't forget, subscribe to us and push on notifications. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We'll see you on your mat. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.